Hey there, society. Thank you for tuning in to True Blue Monthly News, TBMN, where we do news monthly and showcase what is hot and what is not. But today's hot topic is the coronavirus. The number one country that was infected is United States of America, more than China as in of April. No, that is not an April Fool's Day joke. That'd be a very terrible one. Another big news is, uh, has anyone tried fooling you with that April Fool's joke stuff? No, that'd be pretty terrible if they tried doing that right now. But April Fool's Day has been skipped internationally. Has that ever happened? Have we skipped a national holiday before? I don't know about this. But some of the biggest spreaders of this virus going around is also the youth. It is not just the elderly people. When people are going out on spring break, having themselves a good old time, they are also subject of contracting the virus and not only just spreading it. You are not invulnerable by your age. Anybody who is wearing this flesh meat skin on our bodies can contract the virus and spread unknowingly. And symptoms take at least two weeks to show themselves. So be very cautious and you should be in your nice little tidy home. Social distancing. Did someone say true blue monthly news? <laughs> oh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Anchorman Andrew. Listen to Mr. Old Owl here. Stay home. Kids can also contract the coronavirus and become very ill, not just our elders. Making you young does not mean you are invulnerable. But it is in fact that kids have a higher tolerance and a faster metabolism. And when they're going out on spring break, meeting with their friends, they're not social distancing. And they can contract the virus just as easily as anyone on the age spectrum. <laughs> Zoom calls, let's talk about those. How many times have your grandparents and family and distant people you never knew about in your ancestry been calling you lately? Well, thanks to our digital support, it's come in handy more than ever before. One thing that once used to separate us now connects us more than ever. So thank you, Apple. Thank you, Snapchat, Facebook. Instagram, and everything in between for helping us stay virtually connected and distance. Very important. Can someone give me another water? Don't touch me. Pour it. Pour it. Yeah, yeah. Why is the news always trying to break me? Where's my wrench? I need to fix this. Oh. Oh! Welcome to Dick's Auto and Body Shop. I'm Danny Don Mechanic Gear. And I suppose you want some TBMN news. I'm fixing some of their equipment right now. Let me get back to this. But let me tell you this, isolation has brought out the truest colors of people. Probably even yourself, if you've noticed, for the best or the worst. I'm concerned in the worst for relationships doggy. China's divorce rate has skyrocketed off during this pandemic. <laughs> Mind you folks, if those partners love each other, that is complete opposite when it comes to living with them forever and ever. <laughs> I can't find my wrench. Dick. Thank you for covering that side of the news. Please, society, give the love, respect, attention, and acknowledgement to our front lines in the medical field. That includes not just our doctors, but our first responders, our paramedics, our essential workers, our medical care workers, etc. Please, because they're putting their lives on the lines for you. That's a big risk to go to your job not knowing if you might make it the next day or not. So. The support really goes to our true heroes, 
which is the people and essential workers that are putting their lives on the line for us. So I thank you on the behalf of society. I know you've heard about it a little loud. Mass production has become a very sickeningly grossing activity to do with friends that are distant and family. To make a buck or two on the side so you can prevent that nasty virus from getting into your oral area. What book would my class like this time? Oh, I hate that one myself. Oh, hey there, class. What is this? TBMN. Anyways, I got some news for you right here. Love this one. It says, there's been great environmental benefits that have both happened in nature's life and the animals residing in it. Oh, wild animals are now roaming the streets of Rapture. Now that all of us plagues are out of town, you can see foxes running around the street. Well, I'd say that's kind of how my wife picked me up, and now we're married, so good things do happen after all this drama. Right? Well, at least my last job had some real news at Fox 6. <sighs> but BBC News did give us this for TBMN. BBC mentions we are now utilizing 79% of our smartphones. More than we ever have before. All the while, while social media is utilizing things such as Facebook and Instagram or Twitter to keep in virtual touch. Because the only way we should stay virtually connected is if we're digitally divided. It only makes sense to me. If we're digitally divided, we can remain unaffected by this COVID-19 until it passes. Like the burrito I just had last night made by my wife. Oh, Bill, you wanna... Hey, how the heck is Bill rootin' tootin' nootin' badge number 87 here to give your TVMN news. Even sports show that they care sending in these handmade face masks as well as a baseball jersey company producing medical aprons and masks for anybody lacking face coverings during this virus. Lucky me, I only need my hat. <coughs> so, the New England Patriots gave hospitals around the world seeking these medical supplies and sent them in their very own private jet. <coughs> you ask me, that's a root and toot. <laughs> Touchdown, woo! We're not Sorry about that, dang. You gotta fix that. Hey there, class. Mr. Dangle here. We're kind of dry up at UA, but I figure you should know. There's been an increase in kids homeschooling from public and private schools since the coronavirus. It looks like this class of 2020 will be receiving their diplomas in a mailbox. Congratulations. I'd shake your hand, but I wouldn't want to touch you. So. That's all I ask of you, society, is please stay home. No matter if the sun is nice, no matter if people are saying, hey, I'm not infected, come play with me. No. You gotta stay inside. You can walk around, of course. You can pick up sticks in your front lawn. You can go in the back and play in your pool area. You can go do some jumping jacks outside, some yard work, it's good for you. But don't go be going to places for recreational fun, because it's not worth it. It's either fun, or your civic duties, or your life. You be the judge.